Hi friends, I am Lalit Vasist and you are watching Engineering Made Easy. Today we will understand what is graph theory. Here we will see the basics of graph theory. So let's now first understand the definition of graph. Okay. So what is a graph? A linear graph or simply a graph is a collection of nodes and branches. The graph shows the geometrical interconnection of the elements of a network. Let me explain you it with the help of a graph. So this is a network and this is these are the two graphs. This is the undirected graph and this one is the directed or oriented graph. We will see all these terms what we mean by a graph and uh, later I will explain you all the concepts of this network and the graphs. So first let's understand the definition that I just described just mentioned here uh, what is a graph with the help of this uh, network so i told you that a graph or a linear graph is a collection of nodes and branches as you can see this is a network and we have drawn graphs for this network this is that undirected graph undirected means we have not shown any directions or the orientations in this graph as you can see these are the directions shown in the network so these are not shown here so it is undirected and this one is the directed as the directions are mentioned here so this is a network it is a collection graph is a collection of nodes and branches so what are branches as you can see here that this branch branch number six okay branch number six is just a simple line so we represent the components by simple lines by straight lines or uh, curved lines and uh, these are called the branches and what are nodes nodes are the when two or more branches meet at a place then we call it a node here you can see at this place one two three and four branches this branch number two six four and three meet so this b is a node number b node b so you now understand what is a graph and what are nodes and branches okay so graph is a simply a representation or geometrical interconnection of the elements of a network so all these elements of this network are represented with the help of this graph so we call a graph as connected graph if uh, only if and only if there is a path directly or indirectly between every pair of nodes we have a b c d e these are the five nodes and total seven branches in this uh, graph these are the nodes as if you see how can we represent this uh, network as a graph either directed or indirected so you see here that uh, every component if there is a node these these are the two nodes and we take these two nodes and connect this with a branch okay with a branch so between a and b we have drawn a branch okay and between b and c these are the two nodes b and c so we have a branch number four and between b and d you can see there is an element we represent these components by branches okay and where two or more branches meet is called a node so between b and d you can see we have one component so we represent this with the help of this branch and one more important thing that uh, here we replace the voltage and current sources by ideal voltage and current source it means we short circuit the uh, voltage source and open circuit the current source so you can see here that uh, we have short circuited it between a and e and all these uh, branches are uh, meeting at point e so we have converge them at a node e and if we represent them with the orientations okay as you can see these are the orientations uh, for the currents you can say these are the currents and uh, if we represent them if we mention them in the graph then it is a directed or oriented graph okay as you can see here uh, branch number one is having upward so it is upward here it is rightwards number branch two so it is in rightward direction arrow so this is the same oriented graph as as we have seen in the network the same orientations are used here now we will see what we mean by a connected graph 
we call a graph as connected if and only if there is a path directly or indirectly between every pair of nodes it means that uh, here we have a b c d and e nodes and 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 as seven branches and if there is a path between every pair of nodes at least one path you can see that uh, between node a and b there is a we can reach from node a to b uh, through this this path through this branch b and also from uh, through the branch number one and three so these are the two paths available for this also we can reach here uh, through another uh, paths uh, longer paths like one seven and uh, passing through five and uh, four and also one seven and then six so there are multiple paths but if there exists at least one path either directly this is the directly and these are other paths are indirect paths to reach from node a to node b then this is known as a connected graph so these are the examples of connected graph and uh, orientations are shown then based on orientations we have two types undirected and directed so this is directed and this is undirected graph now let's understand what we mean by planar and non-planar graphs there are two kinds of graphs planar and non-planar so planar graphs are the graphs that can be drawn on a sheet of paper without crossing lines if it is not the case then we will call it as non-planar graph it is very simple uh, to understand that the, here we have uh, both kinds of graphs shown this one is the planar graph and here is the here is a non-planar graph as by the definition we know that if we can draw a graph on a sheet of paper without crossing lines here, here we have few nodes these are the nodes and these are the branches these straight lines are the branches of the graph and these are the nodes and if we can make this graph this is the graph by without crossing the lines here you can see that no lines are crossed okay unlike this one here we are crossing the lines so this one is a planar graph we have drawn it on a sheet of paper without crossing of any lines no line is crossing here but if you see here then you will see that this is the non planar graph because it is having crossed lines because this line this branch here to here is being crossed by this line we represent them like this so it is not possible to draw these non planar graphs on a sheet of paper without crossing of the lines now we will understand the concept of a graph nodes and branches so we have also seen the what we mean by connected graphs what we mean by oriented or unoriented graphs and also the planar and non-planar graphs. Now it's time to discuss the concept of tree and co-tree. So what is a tree? A tree is a connected graph having no closed path. So we can also define a tree as there are multiple definitions for a tree that a tree is a connected graph that has a unique or single path between every pair of nodes. Let me explain you all these definitions. There is uh, one more definition for this with the help of uh, an example. Let's see here. This is a network and we have drawn graphs for this network. These are the two graphs. Actually, this is the same graph, but uh, this one is having no orientation. So this is unoriented or undirected graph. This one is the directed or oriented graph. So now we understand how to make uh, a graph of a network. Okay, so it's time to understand the concept of a tree. So as I told you that a tree is a connected graph having no closed path. A connected graph means if there exists at least one path between every pair of nodes. Let's take this in uh, as an example to understand the connected graph. Connected graph means if there exists at least one path between any pair of nodes okay we can reach from a to e through multiple paths this one is the direct path and these are the either we can go from this to two to three and uh, uh, we can reach from a to e through these two paths two six seven two three or direct path is 
1. So, a tree is nothing but simply a connected graph having no closed path. In these are the closed paths. If we have this closed path, these are the closed paths. These all are have making this closed path. So, tree does not have any closed path. And we can also define a tree as a connected graph that has a unique or just a single path between every pair of nodes. So, let's make a tree for this graph. This is the tree of uh, the graph. As you should understand that uh, a graph can have multiple trees. Okay, so multiple trees out of these multiple trees, this is an uh, uh, this is a tree for a particular tree for the graph that we have seen the example our example. So a tree is a connected graph having no closed path. As you can see here that it is a connected graph because it is having path from one node to another and it is having no closed path. In uh, the original graph we had various closed paths. Okay closed loops but it has no closed path and also one feature of this is it is we can also define it as a connected graph that has a unique or a single path between every pair of nodes as it has uh, five nodes a b c d and e this one is the c node node number c it has five nodes a b c d and e and uh, a tree contains all the nodes of the graph and the number of branches is which are known as twigs the branches of the tree are known as twigs and the number of branches or the number of twigs is equals to n minus 1 n here is the number of nodes and number of nodes here are 5 5 nodes are there so the number of branches in this will be or the twigs of the tree would be 4 n minus 1 5 minus 1 is 4 so there are 4 a 1 2, 3 and 4. 4 twigs are present in this. Now we will see various properties of a tree. The first property is it is possible to draw many trees for a given graph. As I told you that uh, for a given graph we can have uh, multiple trees. The concept is there should be no loop and uh, all the nodes should be covered. Here all the five nodes have been covered and there should be no loop. So we can have multiple combinations of branches having no closed loop, having no closed path and that covers all the nodes of the graph. So a graph can have multiple trees. The second property is the number of branches in a tree that are known as twigs is equal to n minus 1. Here n is the number of nodes so here we have a b c d and e five nodes and number of branches that are called as the twigs are five minus one that is n minus one equals to four one two three four so this is the number of uh, branches and every connected graph has at least one tree this is the fourth property that every connected graph has at least one tree as we know that uh, a graph can have multiple trees but at least one tree would be there for every connected graph the fifth property is the rank of a tree is n minus 1 and rank of a graph to which the tree belongs is also n minus 1 here n is the number of nodes of the graph we will understand the concept of co-tree with the help of uh, that our previous example but first let's define few terms of related to co-tree we now understand that uh, branches in a tree are called as twigs and the number of branches is equals to n minus 1 here n is the number of nodes but the remaining branches are known as links links are the branches of a co-tree therefore we can say that branches of the graph which are not in the tree form the co-tree or the complement of the tree so co-tree is nothing but the complement of the tree as we have seen that uh, in our example this example we had uh, this uh, tree you know that uh, these are the re the branches are shown that branches of the tree known as twigs are shown in the red lines so this was the whole graph to make this uh, complete graph we have left it these we have left these uh, the dots that are shown in the blue color the original graph 
the complete graph was this one see here this was the complete graph okay the original graph and uh, this is the one of a tree one tree uh, a particular tree that we can make from this uh, graph as we know multiple trees can be drawn from a graph and for every tree there is a corresponding co-tree the branches of a tree are known as twigs and the branches of a co-tree are known as links or cords so this is the complete graph and here is the the lines that are shown in the red color are just the branches of a tree and these remaining parts that we have left it that we have left shown in blue makes a complete graph and these remaining branches are the co-tree this this part is a co-tree so we can say that uh, the total number of branches b b is the total number of branches of it of a graph is equals to the number of twigs plus the number of links okay so a graph is a union of a tree and its co-tree so by combining this this tree and a particular and uh, for corresponding its co-tree we get a complete graph okay i think this is very clear so these are the twigs and these dotted lines are the links you can analyze this uh, part as uh, this and uh, this whole figure that here n is the number of nodes b is the number of branches and number of twigs number of twigs represented by nt is equals to n minus 1 okay so number of links or cords would be as we know that uh, a graph is nothing this is the whole graph if we combine these red and uh, dotted lines red red uh, straight lines and uh, dotted lines then we get a graph so a total graph is a combination of a tree it any tree it can have multiple trees and its corresponding co-trees okay that uh, make that uh, graph complete so total number of branches would be equal to number of twigs plus number of links and uh, therefore the number of twigs is n minus 1 so number of links would be b minus number of twigs that is b minus n minus 1 that is b minus n plus 1 so this is the number of links or cords another name for links is cords so on analyzing this figure you can see that uh, this has uh, seven branches 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 total 7 branches and nodes are 5 and twigs are 4 n minus 1 twigs are n minus 1 so 5 minus 1 is 4 and number of links is 3 if you replace if you see that uh, 5 are the uh, total number of branches is 7 and out of these twigs are 4 so we have remaining 7 minus 4 is 3 or you can um, uh, calculate this from this one also b is uh, b is here 7 7 minus n is 5 7 minus 5 plus 1 is nothing but 3 so i hope you understood the concept of tree and co-tree in the next video we will see more videos on the graph theory so keep watching my channel engineering made easy and don't forget to subscribe my channel and like the video thanks for watching bye bye Friends, for more such videos, you can uh, subscribe my channel, Engineering Made Easy. And please don't forget to like and share the video if you liked it. For more detailed information, you can uh, visit my blog. See you soon in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.